I wanted to come because it was so beautiful and a nice place and it really is beautiful and it's very authentic, very real. I think our tribe, our area, our people, our surroundings. You don't find many places that are like this anymore. The people here, they're just so friendly and accepting and everyone just took me in right away. I have woods behind my house. There were certain woods that we would never go into because someone lived on the other side of it that was kind of scary or, or whatever. I, I, I don't know what looms in there. Back in the forest, it's much more likely to be able to spot them. We've got vampires and werewolves. There's some rumors going around on occasion of something like that, but there's never been any reports of missing people that have been related or documented for sure that that's, has anything to do with what's going on here. The people that have told me stories um, are people that I would say are, are extremely credible, and I would never say, you're crazy, this isn't real. Vampire hunting, huh? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> A long time ago, when the animals could talk, we became the wolf. There could be some truth to it. No, there, there's actually not any vampires or werewolves in La Push, and no vampires in our school or town. A vampire? No. You know, there's always things that, that are unexplainable. We have people come from all over the world to Little Forks, Washington. It's a bunch of happy, excited fans that have reached their destination and we celebrate together. Last September, we had people from over 20 countries. Now we've had even more. Twilight uh, has definitely had effect on some of the local menus. I have to mention the, uh, the Bella Burger, available at, at Sully's Burger. They've sold over 5,000, the power of Twilight. Being a logging-based town, the housing economy the way it is. Uh, this powerhouse called Twilight really couldn't have come around at a better time and uh, very, very thankful. I mean, I think Stephanie Meyer has done Forks a great, great service as far as, you know, our economy. I think it's good for the businesses, so I'm kind of, kind of torn. I like my privacy too, but at the same time, you know, there's, it's nice to have the store still be there when you need to go buy something. Hope to see you in Forks someday soon. It will be more than you're expecting. Bella Swan, can you come to the sporting goods department, please? Bella Swan to the sporting goods.